The 17 worst things a man can say to a woman. In the intricate dance of modern dating and relationships, words matter. Unfortunately, many men often stumble into the trap of saying the wrong thing, leaving women feeling disrespected, belittled, or misunderstood. Here, we uncover the 17 worst things a man can say to a woman, highlighting why they miss the mark and suggesting better alternatives. If you want to communicate effectively and show respect, keep reading to avoid these common pitfalls. 1. You're not like the other girl. At first glance, this statement might seem like a compliment, but it carries an undercurrent of condescension. The implication here is that most women are inferior or less desirable in some way. Instead, try saying, you're not like anyone I've ever met before. This shifts the focus from a negative comparison to a positive acknowledgement of her uniqueness. 2. Hey girl, I'm a feminist. While it's great to support gender equality, claiming feminism as a badge can come off as disingenuous. Instead of labeling yourself, demonstrate your beliefs through your actions and conversations. Let your respect for women speak for itself. 3. Smy. This seemingly innocuous command can feel patronizing. Women are not here to boost your mood or make your day brighter. If you want someone to smile, engage them with humor or kindness, rather than demanding it. 4. You're definitely the prettiest of all your friend. This statement may sound flattering, but it pits women against one another, creating a superficial competition. A better approach is to say, you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. This way, you celebrate her beauty without diminishing her friends. 5. I didn't know you were smart. Implying surprise at a woman's intelligence reinforces harmful stereotypes. Instead of expressing disbelief, Acknowledge her capabilities with a sincere compliment about her achievements or insights. 6. Oh please, of course you love shopping. This stereotype reduces women to shallow interests. Instead of generalizing, engage in a conversation about her hobbies or passions. Everyone has unique interests, and it's essential to treat them as individuals rather than relying on cliches. 7. It's so rare to meet a beautiful lawyer-slash-scientist-slash-mathematician. You must get all the attention in client meeting. While this might seem complimentary, it implies that her looks overshadow her professional qualifications. A better phrasing would be, I'm impressed by your accomplishments in such a competitive field. This acknowledges her hard work, rather than reducing her to her appearance. 8. That's pretty good for a woman. This phrase is overtly sexist and diminishes a woman's achievements based on gender. Celebrate her success without qualifications. Simply say, that's impressive, to foster a more respectful conversation. 9. My girlfriend is jealous of us hanging out. She's so crazy. Using terms like crazy to describe an ex or current partner is disrespectful and dismissive. It can also indicate a lack of emotional maturity. Instead, express your desire to hang out without involving your girlfriend's feelings. Keep your relationships separate. 10. My exes are all crazy. This statement reveals more about you than about your exes. It suggests a pattern of blaming others for past relationship issues. A better way to frame your past is to discuss what you've learned from your experiences without resorting to negative labels. 11. I think you're just projecting. This phrase can shut down a conversation and dismiss a woman's feelings or concerns. Instead of deflecting, listen actively and validate her emotions. Acknowledge her perspective, even if you don't fully agree. 12. Girls shouldn't curse. 
This outdated notion reinforces gender stereotypes about femininity. Language is personal, and everyone has the right to express themselves authentically. Accept her for who she is, rather than trying to fit her into a mold. 13. Don't be such a girl. Using girl as a synonym for lame perpetuates harmful stereotypes. Instead, encourage her to express herself without labeling. Language matters, and choosing words wisely can foster respect and understanding. 14. You're not that kind of girl. This statement implies that a woman's sexual choices define her character. Such judgments are harmful and reductive. Embrace her individuality and avoid making assumptions based on stereotypes. 15. You don't need to go to the gym. You're already hot. While meant to be complimentary, this statement can imply that a woman's worth is tied to her appearance. Instead, support her personal goals by saying, do what makes you feel good. Encourage her choices without judgment. 16. I love it when a girl eats. This phrase can come off as objectifying and can make a woman feel self-conscious about her eating habits. A more respectful approach would be to appreciate her enjoyment of food without any qualifiers. 17. How are you still single? This intrusive question can feel like a judgment on a woman's worth or desirability. Instead, focus on building a genuine connection without scrutinizing her relationship status. Show interest in her as a person, rather than as a potential partner. Conclusion. Navigating conversations with respect and understanding is crucial in any relationship. By avoiding these 17 worst statements and opting for more thoughtful alternatives, men can foster deeper connections and create a more positive atmosphere. Words hold immense power, and being mindful of what we say can make all the difference in how we relate to one another. Let's strive for conversations that uplift rather than diminish, ensuring every interaction leaves both parties feeling valued and respected. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.